What's up, guys? It's your boy, Barca Boy 103. I've just finished watching the match, and Barcelona beat Real Sociedad at the Anoeta 1 0. Exactly what I predicted in the match preview yesterday. I cannot put into words how we've won this game. It was by far the worst performance I've seen since Komen was the manager, but yet we walk away with three absolutely monumentally crucial points. The starting lineup for this match is on the screen right now. It was Stegen in goal, a back four of Arujo, Kunde, Inigo Martinez, Alejandro Balde, midfield three of Gunduan, Fermin Lopez, and Gavi, and a front three of Cancelo, Lewandowski, and Joao Felix. We did see Cancelo a bit more hugging that right hand side. You could say it was more of a three at the back, but I think more so Cancelo was down that right wing playing as a natural winger. And we did have the likes of Lemany Amal, Rafinha, Pedri, and Ferran Torres coming off the bench. The only goal scored in this match was scored by Barcelona. I was saying in the live watch along, this game is going to end 1-0, but I have no idea who it's for. And it was for Barcelona after Gavi missed a critical 1v1 Arujo at the far post. A beautiful pass from Gundogan. Nutmegs the keeper Alex Ramiro in goal for Sociedad. It was initially flagged offside, which kind of takes away from the celebration, but it was given onside, rightfully so. Aruha was just onside. Even the replays when they were showing the goal again for the offside, he's going like this, saying it's close, it's close. He was onside, and this might be the most celebrated goal I've celebrated this season. My goodness gracious, what a goal, what build up play. It was probably the only three minutes that we played well in this game, and it's been paid off. So overall, the team performance rating on the night, I'm going to be giving it, I think this is one of my lowest, if not the lowest score I've given since I've been doing the team performance analysis. I'm giving the team rating tonight a 2 out of 10. I would have gave it a 0 if we lost this game. I would have gave it a 1 if we drew, and I gave it a 2 because we won. I tell you what, it's probably on paper a 1 out of 10. This, again, by far, the worst performance I have seen since Xavi was appointed as the manager. Beyond shocking. I mean, we could not pass. We could not have any chemistry. We had no build-up play. There was no intensity. There was no pressure. There was nothing. That first 10 minutes, we conceded about four or five clear, clear-cut chances. And shout out to Ter Stegen. He had an absolute stinker against uh, Madrid in the Classico last weekend. This weekend, he's absolutely saved us. That first 10 minutes, he was saving worldies from Sociedad. As the game continues, Sociedad dominating the possession, dominating the chances, dominating the passing. We were just surviving. We go into halftime thinking, you know what? We survived. Let's now regroup, change the system. We don't do that. Chavi then brings on his subs around the hour mark, I believe. Still keeps the same system, but the personnel just changed for freshness. We keep surviving. We keep surviving. Barcelona had two good spells in this game. From around the 38th, 39th minute until like the 43rd minute, we were playing okay. We had some good connection. Of course, Gavi went through on goal. Instead of shooting it, the idiot tried to sweat it to absolutely no one. That was a dumb mistake. And then we had our moment. I think once we hit the 80th minute, Sociedad looked kind of tired. So Barcelona were trying to build into the game. We're still making uh, mistakes. Still sloppy all over the place. We then get that chance. Gavi, really beautiful pass from Pedri. Puts Gavi in. 1v1 with the keeper. And he misses it. You're thinking, okay, this is the last chance of the game. We've scuffed it. Gavi's cost us here. Two minutes, three minutes left. I'm thinking, please, just one more chance. We miss it. I'll hold my hands up. We didn't. We don't deserve to win anyways. Then we pull out the bag. I am. I, I can. I cannot put into words how shocked I am that we've won. But I'll take it. This is what teams do when they win games. Again, I'm not shouting over the performance. Again, I will highlight again my team rating, team performance, two out of ten. Shocking. But three points is what matters. And I'm very, very happy with that. We look like Madrid from, you know, 2016 and 2018, where they play like absolute shite, but still walk away with the win. And which, you know what? They went out winning trophies. Hopefully, we do the same thing as well. But we are surviving by the skin of our teeth. And you know what? Chai made a great point in the post match press conference just a few minutes ago. He said that, you know, against Madrid, we deserve to win and we didn't. Today, we didn't deserve to win, but we win. So again, you could say, I guess, it balances it out. But. I cannot believe we won. I'm sitting there. You can, just look, look, you can go skip through the live watch along. I'm sitting there in silence half the time. I'm thinking, what am I watching? It's just pure shite. Sloppy. There's no uh, chemistry whatsoever. It looks like the players have not seen each other in forever. And by the way, I have to highlight the fact that this team had a week off to rest and prepare and came out with that shite performance. I would spit in all their faces. 
They won, so I won't. But my god, how have you had to rest and recover for a full week and come and play like that shite? Absolutely unbelievable. But again, I have to highlight one more time. Three points is three points. This was a defensive masterclass from the back line who defended very, very well in this game from the likes of Take Kubo, Bryce Mendez, Oyothabal, Zubimendi, Marino. All had chances. I think every single one of that front six for Sociedad had chances at some point in this game. And I am... Over the moon that we've won, and I'm going to be watching that Aruha go on celebrations on a replay tonight. But again, have to say this one more time. Overall, the team performance rating was a 2 out of 10. The worst performance we have witnessed since Chavi was appointed as the manager. Let's now get into the players' individual player ratings. There's off, of course, with the goalkeeper, El Capitano, Mark andre Ter Stegen, And for me, he gets an 8 out of 10. And my man of the match... He was a real captain that first 20 minutes because he was saving our blood clot arses. I mean, he was pulling off some fantastic saves from the shot from uh, Bryce Mendez, the Takekubo chance, the Oriatha ball 1v1. Unbelievable. That first half an hour, Trisha Eggman saving us, had some good saves in the second half as well. Distribution was very, very good, but he had some very, very poor passes where he put them in dangerous areas, risked it for the biscuit, and didn't turn out well. So that's why I've given him the 8, because I think if his passing was a bit better, could have easily been a 9 or maybe even a 10. But Terstegen, captain performance tonight, saved us. He did a remontada from his stinker against Madrid and tonight for me he gets an 8 out of 10. Now for center back partnership in front of him, firstly on the left hand side, it was Inigo Martinez and I will give Martinez tonight a 7 out of 10. I think he played very very well. I think he handled Takakuba well. Uh, he was defending well. His passing was uh, good. He was reading the game very well. Bit sloppy in the second half giving away silly fouls. Got a yellow card for the Oriasa ball tackle as well. But I think Inigo played a very very good game. Of course the whole entire stadium is whistling and booing him every time he touches the ball as well. And you can see in the celebration how much it means to him to win this game. But I think he played very very well and I will give him a 7 out of 10. Next up of course on the right hand side his partner is Jules Kunde. I will give Kunde a 7 out of 10. I think, again, you have to highlight the fact that we kept the clean sheet. The fact that we kept the clean sheet in this match is beyond me. I think Kunde did play well. I think he defended well. Again, like Indigo Martinez, few months where he was sloppy here and there. Could have given a penalty away for Yatha Ball's chance in the second half. I thought that was going to be given as a penalty, especially when he went to VAR. But thank God it didn't. I think he defended well. Again, passing the back was a bit sloppy. I think his uh, first three or four, or four minutes... He was all over the place, probably give him a 0 or a 0 0.5 in that first 5-10 minutes. But he grew into the game, of course, just returning from injury. I think he did play well overall, and I will be giving him a 7 out of 10. Into the fullbacks now, firstly, Alejandro Balde at left back. For me, I'm going to give Balde a 6 out of 10. I think Balde was given a very difficult task today. He was controlling that whole entire left-hand side by himself. Poor Felix is cutting inside. Balde had to control that whole entire flank. I think defensively and attackingly, he was average. I think his uh, sense of the game, reading of the game, wasn't quite there. I think he defended well for majority of the games, you know, making it uh, dif as difficult as he can for Takekubo down that right-hand side. I think there weren't really moments where I'm thinking, oh, Balde, what are you doing? Or this or that, where I thought for a lot of other players. But I think it was more so the team that played poorly and not so much individual stinkers. But we will come to those stinkers very, very soon. But Balde, for me, I think he was all right. I think for the entire 90 minutes, I don't think he put more than two or three foots wrong so I've given him the average six out of ten now of course at right back it is Aruho I've given Aruho an eight let me explain myself I would have given him a seven very similar to Kunde and uh, Inigo I think he defended well throughout the game and then there's some moments again you're thinking what the hell are you doing just clear it tried to dance around with the ball quite a few times played in risky areas but I think again his performance is a seven out of ten bump up, up, up to an eight out of ten for a goal especially from a defender as well getting a goal is always uh, an impressive uh, statistic and I think again Uruguayo, man, I would uh, love to kiss him right now. No homo, but you know, I can't, but my god, I cannot believe he's gone and bloody done it and we've won this game. I'm over the moon, but again, uh, Aruha, I think he put in a good performance. I would have gave him a 7 out of 10, but with the goal, I have given him an 8. Into the midfield now, firstly, Ilkay Gundogan in the pivot. Here's where the low numbers come in. So I have given Gundogan a 3 out of 10, and a 3, I'm being generous. I think if he doesn't get the assist... For the Aruho go, we're looking at a 2 or a 1. I thought Gundo 1 today was shocking. Shocking. was not Again, he's not a natural pivot, but wasn't tracking back. His passes were absolutely dreadful, especially in those dangerous areas. In the final third, was losing his man, losing his marker. He got run off the pitch today. I thought he was so, so poor. I think he made some good, easy passes, you know. That's probably why... 
you see his sofa score and other score ratings on online a bit higher i think they probably probably would give him like a six or maybe uh a low seven but i think going on today so so poor i have given him a three out of ten next up is fermin lopez and i've given fermin a two you could say i'm a bit harsh but i think again good no one i would have given a two but with the assist i've given him the extra three again for me it was poor uh he he came back and defended it quite a bit give him credit for that he had some good turns apart from that he was poor i think he's a, he was kind of a dummy player a lot in this game instead of making dummy runs for joao felix for cantelo but didn't get on the ball when he got on the ball his touches were poor his connectivity was poor his connection play was poor as well it wasn't the best showing but again it was more so of a collective uh, poor performance, but I think for Min today it wasn't that great, and I will be giving him a 2 out of 10. And finally, in the midfield, it is Gavi. I've given Gavi a 4 out of 10. I think you have to highlight the fact that where he's been the whole entire game. I think his recovery runs today were brilliant. He's coming back last second, tackling players. Had some excellent clearances from the box, from um, Cub Bats, from Takekuvo, from Barengue as well, from the left-hand side. Headers away. Um, but I think in attacking wise, he was poor. Two chances where he should have scored. The one in the first half and the second half, at least one of them he should have scored. He missed both, which again, criticism is there. But I think again, this match without Gavi, we're looking at a loss because he brings that extra X factor in that in that midfield where he's hungry. He has that engine. He has that mentality as well, and he's running to uh, do a tackle the edge of the box. They're running back for the counter attack. I gotta give him credit for that energy and for what he's done for the entirety of the 90 minutes. Got the yellow card as well, which is perfect. Now he's suspended for Alaves at home. He got a nice little week off before he goes to Spain international duty. But again, should be scoring those chances, but I have to give him credit for his defensive work today. I think he was absolutely superb, but I will give Gabby tonight a 4 out of 10. Into the forwards now. Firstly, João Cancelo at the right wing position. I'm going to give Cancelo a 2. I mean, again, I feel like Cancelo does not know how to pass the ball. Because he gets the ball, then loses it. He had a good pass to ball day, I believe, in the first half. But he'd get the ball, either do the simple pass back, or just lose it. And then when he loses it, he'll sometimes win it back, then lose it again immediately. His productivity on the ball over the past two or three games has been dreadful. Dreadful. He, he put in a good defensive shift today, I'll give him that. Came back a few times to help Idaho with picking up the ball nicely, especially in dangerous areas for Sociedad. But going forward, where of course he is playing at the right wing, right wing back, whatever, advanced right hand side player. Dreadful. Dreadful. 2 out of 10 for me. Next up is the number 9, of course, RL9, Robert Lewandowski. I'm going to give him a 2 as well. Poor guys playing the graveyard shift. Got hooked off at the hour mark. Surprised Chavi saw them off, to be fair. Again, he had some good touches in the middle of the pitch uh, where he was trying to control it. Picked up a few fouls, but couldn't really get into the game. He had no productivity whatsoever he made some uh, good runs that i didn't found out but he's dropping back so much that we were on counter attack he's nowhere to be found in the box so poor performance from him and i will give him a 2 out of 10 and last but not least is of course joel felix at the left wing second striker i'm gonna give him a three Th there were so many moments we picked up the ball in good areas and he's you know has some space has some time we're asking him to make an effort but he's just so slow with it He'll make some dumb decision. Yes, he had the penalty shot, which I think could have been given. I've seen the worst penalties been given, but he does go down a bit soft. Um, got the yellow card for slapping Bryce Mendes as well, but didn't have that spark that we've seen from Joel Felix in recent matches. Again, in the classical we saw, the nutmeg on uh, Rudiger, making good runs in behind. But in this game, didn't really see that whatsoever. So I will give Felix tonight a 3 out of 10. Now for the substitutions. The subs were Pedri, Ferran Torres, Rafinha, and Lamen Yamal. I'll start off with Pedri. I think Pedri looked very good for someone who hasn't who hasn't played in like, what, 70 plus days. It looks like he has, he's losing that. It's very clear that when a player returns from a long-term injury, they don't have that match sharpness. Had that beautiful pass though for the Gavi chance in the 90th minute. He defended well as well. So I think he put in a good shift. Probably gave him a 6. Ferran, he missed that. That chance, I think, what, in the 85th minute where he absolutely blazes it outside the NLWT Stadium. Dreadful. I think his link-up play and running back defending was alright. Six again. Rafinha, to be fair, Rafinha look, looks, had some good spark on the left-hand side. But we all know, again, Chavi needs to get this in his head. We've been saying this and screaming this since last season. Rafinha on the left wing does not work. Lamen Yamal has played on the left wing before. I'm not, I don't know why Chavi decided to put Rafinha on the left and Lamen Yamal on the right instead of vice versa. I think, I don't know why, just the left wing just nullifies Rafinha. He tries to do some stupid step over and loses it, but he has that sharpness to him that I did see this match. I'll give him credit for that. Finally, Lamen Yamal, poor kid, man. I don't even think he touched the ball like more than 10 times. I don't know what is wrong with this team that when the going gets tough, 
No one, and I mean no one, does not want to pass Lamani Yamal. Even poor Cancelo does never passes to this guy, but didn't really do much. Probably give him a 6 out of 10. Honestly, none of the subs really had a major impact. I think the Rafinha's legs, uh, Ferran's legs as well, came in good clutch. I think Pedri's uh, intelligence in the final third also came in as well. So probably give them all average 6 out of 10. And last but not the least is, of course, the manager, Xavi Hernandez, who tonight for me gets a 3 out of 10. Lineup selection beyond beyond poor i think in terms of the system in terms of personnel i wasn't too upset about it but the system was so so poor i understand why he did it against real madrid but again in these type of games you want to be going on the front foot no half time to the substitution again which could have cost us i cannot believe he did not bring on either the menya mal Ferran, or afinia at half time put an actual wide, wide winger on the right hand side i think his subs were okay i think i would like to see him make a fifth sub and you know you have romeo christensen all earning wages mark alonso on the bench at least bring them in just run around for a couple minutes um i think the substitutions were fine in terms of personnel as well but again there was no in-game management for chavi which for me again shocks me we criticize him a lot about this in-game management he'll do it one game we praise him for it then in other games he just never does it which is very, very annoying. Again, you see there's a problem. You see that Barcelona are playing the worst football under you, yet you're not making any tactical changes. We saw that Inigo Martinez had the paper in the second half when he made the substitution, so I guess he was trying to be proactive a bit, but we didn't see any of that materialize on the pitch whatsoever. I think it was a very poor showing from Xavi, but again, we, we got the win, so that's why I've given him a three. We didn't get the win, he would've gotten a one. So I'm being very, very generous with these raises because, because we won, which kind of shadows over the actual performance, which I don't want to, you know, Employ. I want to highlight the fact that Barcelona played absolutely shockingly poor. It is the worst performance I've seen. Top three worst performance I've seen since I've been doing this on YouTube. Like 100%. So, over from Xavi, poor today. Again, hopefully, it says every single time. He learns and regroups from this. We need to have a great performance against Shakhtar midweek. And we need to win against Deportivo Alaves before the international break. For tonight, Xavi walks away very, very luckily with the three points. And he also gets a 3 out of 10. So that was my match review for Real Sociedad versus Barcelona in La Liga. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and of course leave me your thoughts down below in the comments on everything we discussed. But the main thing I want to know is of course your thoughts on the performance, your player ratings, and your manager rating as well. And of course, make sure you guys subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Take care and Forza Barca. Forza Barca.